Hello everybody, Tyler Rogan with Power Wash Academy. Thanks for joining us again. Today we are gonna be washing a Spanish tile roof. As you can see behind me, we've got this terracotta colored tile and uh, they've done an addition in the back of the home for a detached garage, which they had used an old surplus of tiles that don't exactly blend in with the house. So we're gonna clean those up, remove that algae growth off of them and should be quick and easy. So let's take a stroll back here, show you what we're working with. We've still got construction going on, so we're kind of dancing around another team of contractors, which is okay. They're gonna get out of our way for a short period of time so that we can get in and get out. Um, this back section here with the green walls is the area that we're working on. I've got pretty good access around this thing. I uh, should be able to reach everything from the ground. Um, with the exception on the far side of here, we've got a fence with a lot of shrubbery real close to the structure. So uh, I'm gonna have to get up the ladder and um, get a different viewpoint so that I can uh, thoroughly cover that and see where I'm spraying. But um, the tiles are starting to turn black. Uh, I did get one tile as a sample to kind of give me an idea what I'm up against. I put about a 5% mix on that tile and the color change happened within about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And so uh, that lets me know that they're gonna clean up pretty well and I shouldn't have to apply any direct pressure to get them clean. Uh, I have come across these type of rooms in the past. If they've got a thick layer of the growth on there, it may change color a little bit, but it doesn't always wash off thoroughly. So uh, it's a good idea to do a test spot cleaning on a Spanish tile if you get the opportunity to do so, so you can price accurately and give a good um, expectation for the customer. So let's take a look back here. Um, you can see what we're working with on this side. Uh, this part that adjoins the two structures also has the tiles on there that we're gonna need to clean. These guys are setting the brick today. And so um, they've taken a little break while we get back here, but I can see that those are all pretty dark, but they won't be that way for long. I'm hoping that the actual color of the tile once it's clean matches the house. It's gonna be pretty close, it may not be exact, but they will be clean and our job will be complete. So we've already got our batch mix made up today. We're gonna to be running about 4% on this. I would like to go a little bit stronger, but I think 4% would do it and may give us a little bit longer dwell time, but it's still gonna keep us under 12 to 15 minute dwell. So we should be fine with that. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to go. We've got our pressure washer filled, source tank. Um, we good to go, Irvin? Okay, so we'll fire up these machines. I'm gonna get started on this back side or on this side part right here first. We'll take our hose under this area and work on that other side. And at the end, I'll walk around, crawl up the ladder and spray on that fourth side of the building. So um, if you're ready to go, go ahead and fire it up. Thank you, sir. So I've got a technician, he's about to spray off the grass. Uh, there's no gutters on this yet, so the runoff is obviously gonna come down onto the ground. So he's gonna soak the grass down a little bit and I'm gonna start spraying the roof. I'm good when you are, buddy. Yep. And ideally, I'm not gonna spray so much that it's gonna flood the roof and run down. So I'm hoping I can get a coat and keep the runoff to a minim minimal amount. Okay, I'm about to start spraying. Are y'all ready? Yep, we're getting a little color change right off the bat. That's good. Just got a little drip coming off of the top about what I was hoping for. I don't want to go too crazy and keep flooding it. Those tiles don't absorb much, so what you spray on there is gonna run off pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go back here on this side and start soaking this other area. Oh 
Okay, they are changing colors, looking good. We may get away with one application, that would be fantastic. Okay, it's working. Okay, I'm gonna go around here, climb up this ladder and get this back section. Okay, I'm gonna go check this other side. That stuff dries pretty quickly, so I'm gonna go over here and make sure it's not totally drying off on us. Oh yeah, it's looking great. And a lot of the chemical likes to run off of that hump and down into the channel, so um, it's easy for it to accumulate and start running off. So I try to go with the less is more approach and apply a couple different times instead of me flooding it and it all running down into those grooves and running off down onto the ground. But we're getting a really good color change and I don't think it's going to take too much more until it's clean. So it looks like the roof is pretty clean and uh, we do have some shade from that tree going down on there so it can be tricky to spot if i've got any dark spots in those areas are a little trickier but it's all changing color for the most part and so that leads me to believe that those areas with the shadows they probably change colors like the rest it's just kind of hard to tell exactly until it's totally dry what it's looking like but I can definitely tell it's cleaning up well okay this is starting to look pretty good overall as it's drying I'm noticing a couple spots that are a little bit gray and so I'm gonna go through and put a little extra splash on there and get those to blend in but it's hard to tell until they're completely dry if you got them exactly the way that you want them but we're really close to it and so I'm gonna do just that. The nice thing about working in these construction zones, not so much to be concerned with. I mean, they're gonna come through here, lay new grass, probably replace some plants. And so it doesn't really matter if we get our house washed and all of these scrap materials on the ground. Get to be a little bit lazy today. Heck yeah. I'm just gonna rinse these off because uh, it's a smooth surface on the tile and um, some of the time on darker colored things, whenever your roof wash dries on there, it can leave a little bit of a white haze on there. Um, I don't necessarily think that our batch was strong enough this time or had quite a, as much surfactant in there for it to dry and be real noticeable. But uh, just for my own personal comfort, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. I can say it's such a small thing. It's not gonna be a deal breaker if I spend a couple extra minutes rinsing this thing off. And those tiles were dirty. Um, they had been setting in a pile somewhere, not being used. And so this rinse is gonna help out with freeing up that dirt that runs off of there. And although it's not that noticeable, I can see some nastiness running off as I'm flooding these tiles. So that's letting me know it's taking up the dirt and that will just give it a little more even appearance if I don't have any areas that are covered in dirt and dust, so. Okay, I'm seeing the runoff. It's coming off of these tiles and it's coming off real clear. So that gives me a good indication that the dirt that I was trying to get off is, is freed up and rinsed away and we should get a good consistent result. I'll be interested to see if these tiles match up with the ones that were originally on the home. That was the goal and I think that they may get what they were going for on this one. I think it looks pretty good. They're not exactly the same tiles, but they're pretty close. Yeah. 
Those had a little more of an orange tint to them. This one just looks like straight ter terracotta color, but it'll be close enough. Customers should still be happy with it. All right, success. Another successful roof wash. We got all the tiles cleaned up. No more black algae growth on there. Uh, didn't really have to use that much chemical. Pretty quick and painless. And so um, do one more walk around and just admire my handiwork. Oh yeah, looks good. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching our video today. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, it'll let you know when we drop a new video. And if we ever go live, you'll be notified so you can watch what we're doing in action. But uh, thanks again. Appreciate y'all watching with us and we'll see you in the next one.